Hey everyone, how's it going? Mr. Beatles Pro is back with another new video on this fabulous YouTube channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, by now, everyone that's out there should have gotten their information on the Chicago Fest in August. The pre-early bird special for the cheapest ticket prices is going on right now until this coming Saturday, which is like the, what, 14th, 15th? I'm not 100% sure. I'm not even 100% sure what today's date is. Today's the 9th. So you have until the 13th to have it postmarked and the prices go up. Um, it's a month early. Usually the information for Chicago doesn't come out until May. But in case you weren't aware of it, it's out there. Um, look it up if you plan on going. Because like I said, this is the cheap, cheapest ticket prices. The guests were announced. And the main one's Mickey Dolans, who was at the New York Fest in April. And then it's, what, Billy J. Kramer. Um, Mal Evans' kids. Steve Holly, Lawrence Juber. Um, Frida Kelly, Chris O'Dell, and supposedly there's more to be announced. So, that information's out there now. Um, I'm here not to do video, or part two of my vi room video. Um, that's coming next, but this is just to the stuff that I have picked up to um, get it out there so I can get it put away. As you can tell from behind me, if you if you follow me for a while, I'm actually tearing the room down. Um, I'll get into that later um, when the time comes. But I kind of have a little bit of variety here of stuff that I picked up. And vinyl-wise, CD, um, so forth and so on. And a new format that um, I've never heard of until recently. So, but I did finally pick up the Band on the Run underdub mixes. And I've actually listened to it once. I had it on background music. But the, the actual CD is just the remaster from whatever, what, 2010? And then the underdub mix comes in an inner sleeve like that. I'm sure you've all seen it already. There's a double-sided poster in it. One side is the actual Band on the Run poster. The other side are new photos. And I dropped my hype sticker on the floor. Oh, well. I also picked up... Um, a John Lennon 45. I'm stepping out. And reason being is this one is a promotional copy, if it'll flip and focus. And it has a long and short version on the promotional 45. And one side is 3 minutes and 33 seconds. That's the short version. And the long side... Is four something if I remember right 406 so it's one of the things I'm in the process of is promo 45s that are like that mono stereo long short so forth and so on I also picked up a few of the George Harrison 2014 remasters because they're popping up here and they're dirt cheap but I picked up the 2014 Wonderwall music brand new I picked up um, somewhere in England which I already have them in that box set but 
I bought these to open and listen to them. Like I said, they were they were really cheap. This one, I've never seen. I had to look it up in a book. And it is a 19, if I remember right, 88 re-release. Um, I do have this from a 77, as a 77 promotional disc. But Capital re-released the Susie and the Red Stripes Seaside Woman. And I love the sleeve and the hype sticker. If you can tell, sorry for the glare. But I've never seen this. And it popped up and I was like, wow, I don't have that one. So it's still sealed too. It was never opened. Those are the vinyls I picked up. I got one more. Same thing. Picked it up dirt cheap. It is a promotional copy of rock and roll music. And this thing is clean as all get out. I mean, anybody that collects knows that these covers, they show wear big time because of the foil and all that stuff. But yeah, picked that up too. I was happy to get that. So now <clears throat> I'm going to move on to something that I don't know if a lot of you have seen this. I know a lot of diehards don't care. You know, when it comes to vinyl and CDs and stuff. But these things are geared towards kids. And there's a player out there. I didn't buy the player. I did a little research on these and found out that if you buy them, you can tap them to your phone. And the music on them goes right into your phone. But they're made, they're, they're Yo called Yodo cards. And they came out with the Blue Album, which it doesn't have <clears throat> the entire album. It's like 13 songs. But it's just a card. And I was able to fold this open without ripping the strip off <clears throat> and tweezer the card out and scan it on my phone. So, yeah, this is the remixed version of the part of the Blue Album. Then they made a remixed version of the Red Album. And to what I was really interested in was this one. Say hello to Paul McCartney. There are two instrumentals on here that tie into his Grand Dude series books that were never released on anything but this card. So, but yeah, you just pull, you take the card out, tap it on your phone, boom, downloads it. This one I think has 16 songs on it. If I bothered to look in my phone, um, I could tell you. But all you do is download the Yodo app, and it downloads the songs right in it. And in fact, there's my library of those cards. And the Paul McCartney one actually has 14 songs on it including the Grand Dude theme. And at the bottom it is the not Nan Dude thing theme. But I thought it was unique. Kind of like when they released the USB wristband of Ringo's Liverpool 8. It didn't last. There are two other cards. <clears throat> they are Hey Grand Dude and I think the Yellow Submarine Grand Dude book, Red, by Paul McCartney. Those I didn't get. Moving on. Um, last couple of videos I showed one of these. I happened to get another one. Because I'm in the process of trying to get the blue ones. But I picked up the blue green duck George Harrison pen. So I think I'm missing three right now. And I'll have all nine of them. Another thing I got, compliments of my brother, 
are these candy stick boxes from either 64 or 65. I'm thinking 65. But I want to say there's six different ones. Two Johns, two Pauls. Um, a George and a Ringo and then there's different colors. But there were like candy sticks in here. Which I'm assuming are like candy cigarettes. And there's Paul. They're not perfect, but they're not cheap either. And then the last thing I want to show you, showed this in a video a long time ago, but it is an eight millimeter movie, silent movie, Pop Movies Limited. This one's the Beatles, Liverpool, London, and Paris. I've had this one for a while. There's three different ones labeled PB1, PB2, and PB3. That This one is PB1, but I was able to find PB3. So now I'm, I got one more to complete the, the three 8mm movie set. Um, the cool thing is I do have an 8mm projector. So one of these days, I'll be able to actually watch these. So I think that's it for now. I can now work on finishing um, part two of my room tour video, which I'm not quite sure yet if it's going to be t two or three parts. It depends how long it takes me to get through the room. So with that being said, you all take care. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.